y'all, Melanie here, back with another video for eRes Life. This is video number three, talking about time slots and how to select your room. Our first video was over how to put in your application. The second video was over making roommate groups and searching for roommates. And now we're getting to the fun part, actually picking out your room. So you'll be getting an email from housing uh, that says your time slot, what day it is, and what time it is for you to go in to Eros Life and select your room. So if you lose that email or forget your time, you can go back to Housing Overview and it'll tell you uh, when your time slot is, what day and time, um, and the day that you can go in and mark favorites as well, which is important when it comes to quickly choosing your room um, before other people come in and swoop in and take it. But once it comes time to actually preview the rooms, you'll go to Housing Overview and then you'll have the option to preview rooms. So you can look for different rooms uh, depending on what you're looking for. You can search for uh, the different buildings. So for Lawson Courts, which are our apartments, we've got three different buildings here. And then Robertson and Sparks are just going to be the one dormitory buildings. You can search uh, by floors and then also by accessibility and select a room from there as well. So to go in and save a favorite, you'll select which uh, what you're wanting here. So we'll go with, I want to live in Lawson and we're going to go with uh, Lewis on the first floor and we're going to search. So it'll bring up the different suites that are available um, based on your profile and based on what you selected here on the side. Um, it looks like we've got a whole bunch of rooms open. It looks like in suite 107 there's already someone in room 1 and if I wanted to check and see who's in there, I can hover my mouse and it'll tell me who it is. Um, so if I know I don't want to room with this person or if I do want to room with this person, you know, I can make a selection based on that. If I want to favorite a room to select uh, for later, I can click the star over here and it'll pop up in my favorites whenever I go to select my room. Um, before you go and select your room, you'll need to uh, go to your roommate group if you have one and make sure that everyone has a green check mark next to your name in your group. Otherwise, you won't be able to place the whole group. So for me, I have it set as no group, so I need to go in and actually select the group and that'll add me to it. And then since Bobby does not have a green check mark next to her name, I need to get in contact with her and let her know to go in and select the group. That way we can place the whole group in all at once. And I'll show you what that looks like here. Okay, so I got a hold of Bobby and I asked her to be part of my roommate group. And we can see that she went in and accepted that by going to our roommate groups here on the side and seeing that everybody is now checkmarked. So since everybody is checkmarked, um, we can actually place the whole group uh, into the room whenever it comes time to select our room, which now it is time to select our room. So we're gonna go back to housing overview um, and you may now browse rooms and make your selection. So I'm gonna click browse rooms. And like earlier, we had favorited some, so they're gonna pop up right here immediately. Um, but if we wanted to search for more rooms, we could do that as well by switching over to search for rooms. But we're going to click uh, my favorites. And then I want to be placed in suite 108. And I want room 1. So I'm going to choose this bed. So this first part is going to be the room that you've selected. So I'm going to be in uh, Lewis on the first floor in suite 108, room 1. And then... Step two is decide if you want to use your roommate group. So you can either remove yourself from the roommate group and assign yourself, or you can place your roommates nearby in the same suite right now. And I'm going to assign me now. So at this point, it's saying our reservation is complete. Um, we can change our mind to choose different beds or different suites until the deadline. Um, after the deadline, it's gonna be finalized. 
So if I want to change where everybody is, so for example, if uh, let's say me and me and Bobby are real close, I want to reassign us to where uh, she is in room two and Elizabeth is in room three instead, we can do that. And now it's all arranged. And after that's all arranged, um, this is when I will choose my meal plan as well. Um, it, the meal plans do differ depending on where you live. So if you live in the apartments, you do have the Lawson apartment plan made available to you. So since I'm in the apartments, I do want to go ahead and select the apartment plan. And I'm going to select choose meal plan. And up here, it'll say saved. And at this point, you don't have to do anything different. It is complete. Um, it's finalized after the due date, um, and at this point, you don't have to do anything else. Um, you'll hear from us on when to move in, um, so be sure to check your emails for dates and times uh, for when you're supposed to be moving in. So let's say we did change our mind, and we actually didn't want to be in the apartment anymore. We want to see about getting uh, a dorm room. So we can keep our reservation and we can just go ahead and browse other rooms because just in case there isn't anything available in the dorms in Sparks or Robertson, we wanna keep our Lawson apartment just in case that there isn't anything available. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and keep our reservation but browse other stuff. So I'm going to search for rooms now and we're going to look in Sparks Hall. Um, let's look at the third floor. We'll see what's available. So we can see here that the suites are available. We can see which ones are available and which ones are not. And we can go ahead and place our group in there. So let's say I want uh, this double suite, which is uh, room 301 and 302, and they share a bathroom in the middle. So I want 301, and I want bed 1. And I can go ahead and place my roommates in here as well. So let's assign us in there. And uh, we can also change which rooms everyone is in as well. Um, room 301 would have two beds in it. Us two would be sharing a room. Um, 302 would have two beds in it. They would be sharing a room. And then all four of us share one bathroom in the middle. So if I want to reassign the beds, I can do that again as well. So I'll move Bobby here and move Elizabeth here. Click Assign. And it's all done. Since we moved from the apartments over to Sparks Hall, which is the dorm room, you can see that the meal plan that I had previously chosen is missing. The apartment meal plan is only for the apartments and so now I have to select a new meal plan. If I end up not choosing anything at all, it's gonna default me to the Flex 12. Um, and if you want it to default to the 12, that's fine. You'll have the first five days of the semester to change that if you want to. Um, but I would go ahead and just confirm which meal plan I want. Um, I'll go with the 14, choose the meal plan, it'll have it saved. And if you ever want to double check what your meal plan is, you can go to My Meal Plans and it'll tell you what your meal plan you've selected is, when it starts, when it ends, and a, uh, a description here. And that's it for choosing your room. If you ever want to go back and look at what you have selected, you can go back to Housing Overview, you can look at what you've chosen, and then you can also look at other rooms if you need to change before the deadline as well. And if you ever have any other questions regarding choosing your room or anything about the housing process, please email housing at usao.edu or you can call 405-574-1278. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video when you are a resident. Bye!